Hey guys, today is Saturday, July 8th. Um, this morning I got up super early and went over to Plato's Closet because they were having their semi-annual bag sale um, for their clearance stuff. Um, they did it a little bit differently this time. They let us bring our own bags. So I took giant Ikea bags um, and then whatever you could get into the bag was 90% off versus if you watched my last video on this, um, last time they did just little small Walmart bags and they sold those for 20 bucks and whatever you could fit into the bag for 20 bucks, that's what you got. So they did it differently this time and I was talking to the cashier about it when I checked out and she was like, yeah, you know, I feel like people are buying a lot more so hopefully they'll keep doing it this way. Um, but I got a ton of stuff so I'm just going to get right into the haul for you guys. Um, I honestly tried to shop for like fall winter. I didn't really, I got a few summer things, but not, not really a ton of summer stuff. I tried to go for like back to school type things. Um, but I got this really cute, it's like a little sweater with like a layered portion at the bottom. That's really, really nice. Um, it feels really nice and still has the tags on it. It's by Miracle USA. It's a size small medium, so I'm assuming that it came from a boutique somewhere or online. I've never really heard of the brand, but I thought it was really nice. It feels nice, and it's got a cute little zipper on the back. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's slightly sequined, so it has a little bit of sparkle to it. So that was, let's see how much I paid for it. It was priced at $14, so I paid $1.40 for it. Let's see. Um, let's go with jeans. These are J. Crew matchstick jeans. And these were priced at $18, so they were $1.80. So in really good condition. Uh, Really good condition, just their basic matchstick dark wash jeans. Um, found this, which was I was super excited about because you never really see this brand around here, but it is free people. It's a really nice jacket, kind of like a field jacket. It was priced at $20, so I paid $2 for this free people jacket. That'll be really cute for fall. Let's see, I also found this, it's a Nike dry fit jacket, kind of a running track jacket. It's kind of a purple color, I don't know if you can tell on the camera. It's a size small. But it feels really nice. It doesn't have any picks on it. It was $20, so I paid two bucks for this Nike jacket. Let's see. I really love this. This is a little blazer from Express. It's kind of kind of a blue-gray color. And then it's got the stripes and it's got really cute buttons on it. You can see them. It's kind of a bronze button. Uh, it still has the tags on it. Originally priced at $79.90 at Express. They had it priced for $14. So I paid $1.40. This is kind of retro looking. I know it's not vintage. It's pretty new. Uh, but it looks really retro. It's a Reebok jacket, kind of like a track jacket. It's got Reebok on there. I think that's the only place. Yeah. But it's green and white. It's got pockets. Kind of a mesh, breathable running jacket. Let's see the tag. Let's see. I paid price at $12, so I paid $1.20 for it. Really nice. This is from H&M. It's, it's divided by H&M. Uh, 
It's a little, zips up the back. Just a little dress. It's got sparrows on it. Just a little kind of like a skater dress. Let's see, it was $8, so I paid 80 cents for it. Oh, I was super, super excited to find this. I don't really see this brand a lot here either. I don't know if it's because I live in a super hot state because I'm in South Carolina, uh, but people, people don't really wear coats and stuff very often. But this is a Patagonia, kind of like a, like a track sweatshirt type thing. Uh, I found it mixed in with the, with the active wear. It's an extra small, you can see the tag. It doesn't have the bright colored Patagonia tag in it, so that's probably why people missed it. I'm surprised it was still there. It's in really good condition. I paid, it's $20, so I paid two bucks for Patagonia. This is just a little Nike top, workout top, tank top. Uh, it was priced at 10 bucks, the size extra small. So I paid a dollar. Let's see. I love this. This is a Vineyard Vines. It feels like a sweater. Uh, it looks kind of like a zip hoodie, but it feels like a sweater, and it's got the little whale on it. It's navy. See the tag? Let's see what size is it? A large. They had it priced at $35, so I paid $350. Hopefully it will actually get cold this winter, or maybe, you know. You can wear things like this in South Carolina. Probably not going to happen, but, you know, wishful thinking. Uh, let's see, I think the rest of this might be men's, but this is a Vineyard Vines polo shirt for a guy, size medium. It's long sleeved, green and white striped. They had it priced at $30, so I paid three bucks for it. This is... Uh, Southern Tide Polo, size 2X. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be popular in all parts of the country, but here people love these. Uh, and this is actually a Carolina one. It's got the Gamecock on the sleeve. So people go all out with this stuff for tailgating, for football games. This is usually what you'll see the guys wearing. These are really nice polo shirts. Definitely look out for this brand. It's very expensive. Um, like I said, this might not be something that you're going to see in all parts of the country, but in the South, it's a pretty big deal. Let's see. Not everything. Oh, nope, there's one more. One more Southern Tide polo. Long sleeved, 30 bucks. All the polos were priced at 30 bucks, so I paid three bucks for them. Southern Tide, this is also this is size large. It's brown, solid. It's got the fish on it. Um, these were my find of the day. Definitely the find of the day. These are Patagonia men's corduroy pants. They're size 38. Still have the tags on them. They're originally priced at $89. Then they were clearance priced at $60. Uh, Plato's was selling them for $30, so I paid three bucks. Three bucks. Brand new with tag. They're in great condition. Um, if you go to one of these sales and you're looking through the clearance stuff, make sure you're also checking it because just because it's gone through, like they go through and they choose what they buy at Plato's Closet, but I was seeing a lot of stuff because it had been moved around so much and tried on. Um, there was some Lily Pulitzer stuff that I had to put back. Oh, let me grab, actually, there was one more thing I wanted to show you guys. Sorry, I couldn't put everything in the video because it would be super long and then it would take like a year to upload. But this is a Lily Pulitzer dress, uh, just a basic shift dress. Uh, but they had it priced at $50 at Play Doh, so I paid five bucks for it. It's Lily Pulitzer, size medium. It feels really nice. It's a good color. Uh, 
But yeah, I had to put some of the Lily Pulitzer stuff back. I did find more of it, but it had really bad makeup stains. Um, and then on one, it was a beaded top and the beading was coming off of it. So if you're shopping these sales, just make sure that you're checking stuff because it's just been moved around so much and people have been trying it on and it will get damaged. It might not have necessarily been damaged when Play-Dohs bought it. Um, but just from wear and tear, especially the designer stuff, it gets tried on a lot. And, you know, just be careful when you're buying it because you can get damaged stuff. I always check my stuff and luckily I found, you know, the stains and the tears before I bought it. Um, I did get a few other things, American Eagle sweaters, jeans, um, just pretty basic stuff. But let's see. Oh, there's one more thing. I did find these. They're not the bean boots, but they are Sperry's. They're little Sperry boots. That I thought were super cute and they had them priced at $22 they're size 8 so I paid $2 for them I wish they were my size because I would keep them um let's see let me see the little tag in there yeah so I got these and one more pair of boots that aren't really like a super good brand um I'm probably gonna keep those so that was my the highlights of my haul for the day. I'm trying to find my receipt. Let's see. My receipt. I saved $558. I spent $66.96. But I was in the, I was in there for under an hour. Honestly, it took me longer to check out than it did. To, for me to find the stuff. There were a ton of people there. If you ever go to one of these sales, get there early. I was there, they opened at 10, I got there at nine, and there were already a couple people kind of standing at the door. Um, and then everyone else was kind of sitting in their cars. So I sat in my car until other people started walking up. Um, but I'm really glad that they let us bring our own bags because I brought Ikea bags and I also brought an extra bag with me so that when I went to check out, the cashier could just take my stuff from one bag and transfer it into the next bag. And that way, you know, that made her life a whole lot easier. So if you're going to go to the sale, take an extra bag for when you leave so that it'll just make your checkout process a lot faster versus them. They did actually have people there taking off hangers and taking off the security sensors. So that made things go a lot faster. Um, I got in line pretty quickly. Right after I got in line, everyone else got in line, and the line literally stretched the length of the store. So just be prepared if you're going to go and shop one of these sales, get there early, and be patient. And be nice to people. You know, say excuse me, be nice to the cashier. They're there all day, and they're having to, you know, deal with all these people. And, I mean, it's probably their one of their biggest days of the year. Um... But that's my haul for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Um, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell so that it'll turn on the notifications so you'll get notifications whenever I post a video. Um, I'll try to be back tomorrow with another video for you guys, but I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will see you again later. Bye!